This is a horn set we used. Uh, the initial formation allows a playmaking guard to make plays with two high ball screens. Uh, we leave up to the players whether they want to attack from the side or head on. Uh, then we'll work some sets off of it. The first option here is our spacing allows the ball handler to reject the screens and drive a double gap uh, with a clean reject and a shooter in the corner. This action is simple, but it's hard to defend. The second option here, we want our playmaking guard to be able to attack using the screens. Unlike the previous option, the guard now has to read the screen coverage and make decisions based on what the defense does. In option three here, we're now reading the ball screen. By reading the coverage, we can see that the roll man's open dive into the hoop after screening. We usually have the five man always dive and the four man always pop, but those rolls on who pops and who dives can be catered to your team. In option four, now we're reading the coverage again and it's the player popping behind the ball screen that's open. Uh, this is open usually when the coverage pays too much attention to the ball handler and the roll man. Uh, if the shot's not there, we usually want the player to look to uh, make a high-low feed or drive a closeout. Our spacing is perfect uh, to funnel the ball inside with our four round one after the ball screen. So if your five man has back of the basket skills, uh, any player on the on the perimeter can feed the ball inside. It can come from the point guard, it can come from high low, or it can come from the wing, it doesn't matter. Now we look at a, a set play we use trying to get some cheap looks out of this same alignment. Uh, the first option on the set play is a design backdoor. We tell our ball handler not to get too close to the screens in case they double team disrupting the play and we want our wing to make a great change of pace cut after acting like he wants to come get a dribble handoff from the uh, ball handler. The back end of this play is a double stagger screen for a shooter coming behind the play. Uh, if the back door isn't there, we're always looking to hit the shooter coming to the top. We've got our two screeners that will first screen for the ball are now staggering for the shooter coming up the backside. 